You're watching Newsday TV. Thanks for joining us. I'm Ken Bufa. Experts say September is a peak mosquito month, and that could mean more mosquito-borne diseases. So far, there have been 197 samples in Suffolk County and 56 in Nassau that have tested positive for West Nile virus. Joining us now is Dr. Andrew Handel, pediatric infectious disease expert at Stony Brook Children's Hospital. So, Doc, what exactly is West Nile virus and why is it such a concern? West Nile virus is a mosquito transmitted infection, meaning that people get it when they're bit by an infected mosquito. Fortunately, most people who get it actually have no symptoms, but a small portion of people can develop encephalitis or an infection of the brain, and that's our major concern. Those infections can be deadly and can be quite severe. And so any uh, avoidance we can take to, to making sure that people don't get these infections is really crucial. So, Doc, how are mosquito-borne diseases spread? I'm guessing they bite humans after they bite animals or vice versa. And what other diseases are out there that we should be aware of? That's correct. So humans become uh, infected when they're bitten by an infected mosquito. And the way that mosquito became infected was actually by biting an animal, typically with West Nile virus, a bird, that then transmitted the infection to the mosquito and passed it along to humans. Thankfully, there are not many infections on Long Island and in New York that people can get from mosquitoes. West Nile virus is the most common one. Another one we're hearing about in the news right now is Eastern equine virus, but there have been no cases of that in New York, and it is even more rare than West Nile viruses. So what can people do to protect themselves this time of year? Because it's beautiful outside. It's nice to take a walk. So, of course, we want to encourage people to be outside, but if we can, we want to be as safe as, as we can be about doing that. Mosquitoes tend to be most active at sunrise and sunset, so if you're going to be outside in areas that tend to have a lot of mosquitoes, you want to avoid being there at those times of day. When you go outside, it's a good idea to wear long sleeves and long pants and to, be, and to use an insect repellent, which is also helpful for keeping away pesky ticks as well. And of course, you want to make sure to remove any standing water from around your house. That's where the mosquitoes like to reproduce, and so by getting rid of any water that's sitting in pots or pans or toys, you can prevent the mosquitoes from reproducing and, and uh, infecting you right around uh, where you live. All right, here's hoping for a bite-free September. Thank you so much, Dr. Andrew Handel, pediatric infectious diseases expert at Stony Brook Children's Hospital. Now, you can read more about mosquitoes on Long Island. Just go to Newsday.com, click Get More, below the Newsday TV video box.